What up, my peeps? It's your knucker, Big Rucker, back at you again with another Marvel Legends action figure review. Next up and on deck, well, you see it right in front of you. You know the rules. You know what it is. We have got the Hasbro Pulse exclusive Army Builder Scroll Infiltrator, or in my case, Infiltrators, plural. You see five of them there. And uh, yeah, so we're going to, uh, we're going to see what's what with this. We've been asking for scroll army builders for a minute. Some people actually went out of their way to get multiple super scrolls, which will build a figure. It's a build a figure, so you know that's going to cost. But some people wanted to uh, have scrolls, um, and that's cool. But the problem with that is the super scroll is uh, larger than the average scroll. So, um, I mean, you'll fudge it, you'll do what you're going to do, but uh, now we've got some bona fide troop builders right here in hand, and uh, yeah, it's all good. So, we're going to get the infiltrator out of the packaging, but before we do, let me remove the center box first so you can see what's going on here. You see how the box is, it's got uh, scrolls basically all over the place and uh, the box wraps around as you can see right there and of course on the other side you've got uh, basically nothing on the back it just reads scroll infiltrator and then in different languages and then of course the legalese but what I want to show you guys is put that there grab another one Turn it inward, and you see it connects up. The same goes for the other side. So you've got yourself a little display there, which is uh, pretty interesting that they that they did that. So anyway, I'm going to put these back the way I got them, kind of, sort of. bring back the centerpiece and we're going to uh, open it up. I already uh, cut the tape off camera just to avoid that part of it. You see it's just a box. It's not, uh, it's not, uh, there's no plastic. In fact, it even states on the side there about uh, it being plastic free packaging. I don't know if you could see that, but uh, yeah, there it is right there. So we zeroed in so you could see it's reading plastic free packaging, except tape, of course. That's what keeps it sealed. So, um, yeah, that's how that goes down. Resuming getting them out of packaging. All we gotta do is that. I'm gonna set the box aside now. It's in this kind of cellophane baggy kind of packaging just uh, wrapped around nothing's keeping it tied down and everything slides out the scroll infiltrators accessories we get an additional head sculpt you see that we've got the uh, the gritted teeth there and uh, the green face you got the eyes painted nicely the teeth Nothing sloppy there, it looks pretty good. And uh, you've got the top, it's all good, but uh, we'll get into the details momentarily. Next, the scroll infiltrator comes with this uh, futuristic space age type of weapon, which is appropriate, can't get mad at it looking futuristic in uh, space age. This was the weapon that was teased for us to try to guess what was coming next. And it's just uh, molded in a uh, gray and it's got some purple paint to, I guess, uh, show uh, that's probably signifying, uh, you know, the power, the energy that it's used to fire. Scroll Infiltrator also comes with this rifle-like weapon. I'm sure, it's an energy weapon. It is, uh, you know, the scrolls from space and all that. 
also uh, molded in that uh, flat gray plastic and uh, it has uh, no uh, no paint applications at all though it is uh, it's highly detailed gotta appreciate that the uh, the muzzles actually have holes ports so if you have any blast effects you can uh, insert them in there if they fit so that's great that uh, Hasbro uh, thought about that and uh, yeah basically this is uh, this is uh, what we get so two sets of weapons pretty cool so here we have the scroll infiltrator on our rotating platter giving you a 360 degree view of the figure it's an army builder it's pretty basic you know what I'm saying it's on that uh, Sunfire or Spidey 2099 buck whichever you want to uh, classify it as so that means it's got the butterfly joints I've stated recently I I think all of their bucks should come with the uh, butterfly joints it is so amazing how dynamic it makes figures as far as posing is concerned um, that's why I wish that all of them came that way but um, yeah you see it like I say he's playing it's uh if you know anything about the scrolls you know that uh, they're well green uh, as far as their skin and their uniforms are uh, purple and black basically that's all it is so um, that's what we got here let's get him off the stand and get a closer look at him so here we have the scroll infiltrator up close and personal and uh, as always, we start with the uh, the head, the face. You can see that uh, you got the uh, he's green, obviously with the big ears, and um, you also see the uh, the rigid chin, which is uh, which is the uh, customary of um, scrolls, or I should just say standard. That's that's you know you know their characteristics. They come with the uh, the rigid chins. Getting a better look. You can see the uh, the eyes are uh, my eyes on mine. They're painted nicely, white with uh, like black pupils. Looks like so. Like I said, pretty basic. The figures molded in purple, and uh, it's got the uh, painted black around the shoulders, as you can see. And uh, as far as the head, the uh, the face is actually uh, separate from the hair. The hair has just been um, the hair is uh, or helmet is probably what it is. You know what goes on the back of uh, a scroll's head is uh, is actually separate and uh, just glued on there like that. Going uh, up the figure. Once again, like I said, it's uh, molded in that purple. Turn it around. The uh, forearms are painted black. The gloves are molded in black. The crotch area molded in black. And then we go down. You see that uh, the rest, the legs molded in purple. And the uh, calves are uh, molded in black. They're separate. And of course, the feet are molded in black. Looking behind, nothing special there. Pretty basic. Turning them around, and that's our guy, the scroll infiltrator. As far as the articulation goes, we got the head is on a uh, ball hinge, so you can get a 360 there. He can look up that far, which is excellent. Down that much, just as good. You're not gonna get too much in the way of attitude, but you can get just a little bit, you can get some. As far as the arms, he's got those butterfly joints. You see how far back that can go and forward. You gotta love that. I don't know if you saw the back, so I'll do that again. And go back that far, yes indeed. You can get the shoulders up to almost 90. You can 360 it. He's got bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. That's better. Had to wait for us to get back in focus. 
building it as we flying it, y'all. So, like I said, you got double jointed elbows. He's got wrist swivel and the hinge, horizontal style. And uh, they're both horizontal, unfortunately. It would have been nice if one of the hands would have been equipped with the vertical hinge, but can't ask for too much for the 16 bucks, like I said before. Going to the uh, torso articulation, he's got an ab crunch, so he can go forward that far. He can go back that far. You hear the, the click in there, ratchety. He's got that waist rotation. Legs, the hips can go out that much. He's got thigh cut right there. He's got double jointed knees. He's got a calf rotation there at the top of the boot. He can point his toe that far forward that far up he's got ankle pivot and of course he's got the peg holes at the bottom of his feet here's our infiltrator with his other head sculpt with the gritting teeth and one of his weapons here he is with his other weapon and uh, you can get uh, these kinds of poses with rifle style weapons courtesy of those butterfly joints I mean what more can I say butterfly joints I'm on that campaign with butterfly joints and here's the part that I know most of you have been waiting for putting different heads on these infiltrators because that is what they're supposed to be doing is infiltrate and uh, as you can see we're kicking it off with Tony Stark this is the head that came with the stealth Iron Man from the Ursa Major Wave and uh, I can tell you that um, it pops on, it fits perfectly. Uh, you still get your full range of uh, articulated motion there. Looks kind of funky. It's uh, high up on it, but you still get it. And uh, most importantly, it, um, it looks cool. It's uh, not sitting too high up when you're looking at it straight on. So that looks good right there, Tony Stark. Next up, we've got Johnny Storm. This is from the recent depowered Human Torch figure that we got uh, also. It was a uh, Pulse exclusive. So um, yeah, they're Pulse mates and uh, you see that that fits perfectly. It needs to, They uh, both the Infiltrator and Johnny, they share the same book. So yeah, there you have that. And lastly, we have Iron Fist Head. That looks pretty good also. Uh, this uh, Iron Fist is uh, the one that came from the Defenders 4 pack which was uh, an Amazon exclusive from a few years ago and if any of you have that or seen any reviews of it you know that that's the uh, that's on the pizza Spidey buck so you can see now that um, you could use uh, pizza Spidey you could use obviously 2099 or Sunfire body. You could also use uh, heads that were meant for certain Iron Man armors. And uh, you can use heads that fit on Bucky Cap molds. So, yeah, you can uh, get your infiltration on for real. Here's something that I really wanted to show you guys. What we got our scroll infiltrator next to is the Marvel Select scroll. And uh, I've had um, a couple of these, about four of them, I think. Been using two of them for my, uh, I call it my cosmic shelf. And uh, had that on display here. And uh, yeah, this is uh, this is what um, we had to use in terms of uh, scrolls, unless you bit the bullet and. Uh, sprung for a few of those uh, Super Scroll Builder figures, but um, you can see right there, night and day, the, uh, the Marvel Select Scrolls, they came two to, a, uh, two to a pack, so to speak. If you know anything about Marvel Select, you know that they did and still continue to do the, uh, the uh, you know, the uh, not so collector friendly packaging. Once you go through that, you're done. And uh, 
they had uh, two of these guys in packaging for that. So, uh, yeah, it was cool. The uh, weapon is definitely interesting. One of the things besides how it looks that makes it interesting is that it is not removable. We complain so much about when Hasbro has weapons and holsters that you, that uh, we can't get out. But think about this. This is even worse. It's in his hands and we can't remove it. But at least he's got it in his hands and it's firing. So I guess that's something. But um, yep, this is back in the day. You see uh, it has uh, no ankle pivot at all. But then we're talking about Marvel Select. So the... Uh, the articulation was always going to leave a lot to be desired but uh yeah that's uh what we got that's what we had and we've got this uh welcome edition with these infiltrators they look better more articulation and definitely more versatile next for comparison scroll comparison we've got talos from the captain marvel wave the uh the sentry wave and uh, you can see uh, the differences, but you can also see where uh, the MCU took their cues from in terms of uh, the uh, the look for the cinematic scrolls. They have the uh, the rigid jawlines, and uh, you can, if I bend them over, you can see they also did what they could in terms of the. Uh, the uh, the top of the hair it looks like that's actually the uh, the uh, what passes for hair or what type of markings I don't think it should be hair it was never really established in the movie if scrolls were uh, reptilian but um, definitely in the comics the six one six scrolls are reptilian so but yeah you can see the difference there had to know I was going to break him out. We've got our scroll infiltrator next to his big brother. We're talking about Clerk, the super scroll, the builder figure from the Fantastic Four wave of a couple years ago. And as I was telling you before, people were springing for um, more super scrolls to uh, serve as army building scrolls. Uh, the Super Scroll came with regular arms, so it made that, um, you know, it was easy to do that in terms of the look. Monetarily wise, I couldn't call that. And just for funsies, I put a guardsman up having them face off against one another because one of them referred to the other as Greeny, and the other is feeling some kind of way about it. So to sum it all up, we've got the Marvel Legends Hasbro Pulse Exclusive Troop Builder Scroll Infiltrators Welcome Edition to the collection. A lot of people been clamoring for it. We finally got it. What we need now are uh, Kree Troop Builders because uh, the scrolls are the uh, eternal enemies of the Kree, so we need to get those going on too. So uh, yeah, anyway, excellent uh, versatility. The potential is great. Um, they're uh, sold out right now from Pulse, but they'll eventually get them back in. They've done that before with the uh, previous troop builders, the AIM and the Hydra soldier troop builders. Also, uh, you've got um, Black Ninja from the hand that uh, they're coming out to now. So uh, yeah, Hasbro's really doing it up with the troop builders. They know what we want. Uh, what other troop builders you guys are thinking about? I think we need some street thugs. That's uh, kind of problematic because they have to come dressed differently. But that's an issue we can talk about later. First world problems. Anyway, these are great. They're on that 2099 or Sunfire buck. The heads that you could utilize from different bucks are great because they'll fit. Some of them will be a little bit tight, so you may have to uh, warm them up just to get them on, but they they fit well, they sit well. There are some heads that are too big. Um, I had tried earlier Bishop, and uh, his head was way too big. Never mind with all the hair, just the head alone, it was too big. So uh, anyway, 
yeah, run out, get yours. Well, you can't run out. You got to order them when they get back in stock. So uh, I'm happy to have these. And uh, yeah, they're, they're great. They're replacing my Marvel Select Scrolls. And I can retire those. But uh, speaking of retiring, I'm going to retire this review. You guys, thank you for rocking with me. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And remember to smash the bell so you can be notified when I upload another video. Until the next time, my peeps, remember, the hunt continues. And I am out. Peace.